things, new skin. I'm just checking that this is all working. Excellent. All right, this is, I, I realized after making over 130 different videos on this channel, uh, guides to different products uh, within the new skin range of some of them you can see behind me here. And I realized I have never actually done a guide on how to use the Age Lock Lumi Spa on your skin. I've always, I've done a bunch of videos on it. I've done uh, the top 10 mistakes while using the Lumi Spa. I've done um, the top myths of the Age Lock Lumi Spa. I've uh, detailed what exactly this is, this incredible device that is uh, the world's number one cleansing device and has been for over four years now. So I've done all these different videos on the Lumi Spa, but never actually, all right, here's how you use it, a definitive guide. So let's do that right now. Perhaps you're brand new, perhaps you've been around for a while and you just wanna make sure that you're using it properly. The good news is that with the Lumi Spa, it's very intelligent. It's uh, very intuitive and so it, it's not too complicated to use. It's kind of self-explanatory, but there are a couple of techniques that will enhance the results. So I've just had a shower. I shaved in the shower. Most of you watching this will not need to do that first. Uh, so let's get ready and, and I'll go through and do a Lumi Spa treatment. Normally I would do it in the shower, uh, but for the purpose of this video, I'll do it here. So first off, I'm using NAPCA Moisture Mist to moisten the face. Actually, I don't really need to moisten the face right now because I'm gonna start on the neck. So this isn't something that I always do, but I think it'll be useful for this video for future reference for a lot of people. So just wanna make sure the neck is nice and wet. I'm gonna do a bit more. Now, people ask me all the time, could I just use water? Yeah, you could. Uh, I mean, I don't use NAPCA moisture mist when I'm in the shower, uh, but when I'm out of it, it's much more convenient to use this and it's packed full of hyaluronic acid and different humectants that will draw moisture to the skin so it will hydrate it much better. Uh, I will also just moisten the treatment head here. I've got hair <laughs> on this. I've laid it down somewhere with long hair. Uh, all right, and then you apply the treatment cleanser onto the head. I mean, you can apply it direct with your hands onto the skin. Uh, I just like doing this as a, a nice measurement. So I'm gonna do about that much uh, for my neck and I'm just gonna smooth it around here and around the other side, making sure nice and hydrated. All right, to turn it on, you're pressing this button, it's gonna light up and it'll show just one quadrant. There's four quadrants here. And every 30 seconds, it will change to the next quadrant, next quadrant, next quadrant. Two minutes is up, it is done. So that way you don't have to be looking at it wondering how long this has been going on for. Kind of like an electric toothbrush, how it's got the, the timer and it changes every 30 seconds or so, at least mine does. Same thing for this. It will kind of remind you, it'll buzz in a different direction uh, every 30 seconds to change the position on your face. So using on the neck is a little different to the face, but I'm just gonna press this. It starts its movement. And the movement is just straight under the jawline and you hold it at behind the ear there and then down and then up here. Now the purpose of this is lymphatic drainage or stimulating the lymph nodes. So you're just moving it across holding down this muscle that goes down to the collarbone and then up. Now I'm not moving it around like this and you see when I do that it actually buzzes and it stops and that is because it has motion sensors in here so if you're moving it too fast it will pause and it'll tell you all right slow down if you press too hard it will also pause and it'll tell you all right you gotta uh ease up on this you don't need to be pressing hard it's doing all the work here and that's why you can use it on a daily basis because of this medical grade silicon head that you see there uh, it's gentle enough to use once or twice a day depending on your skin type so i'm just gonna keep going along here it doesn't take too long just hold it here and down back up Cross and down and you can go up and down and then across. So 
the best thing when you're doing anything to do with the lymph nodes is to work out where they are. So they're positioned here and here, and there's more down there. So if I was in the shower, I'd go a bit lower into the, the collarbone area, and that's helping to stimulate and drain the lymph nodes. So I'll do a little bit more on the other side here, and then I'll move on to the face. All right, so you see the lights that I was talking about? So it's done three sessions already because I'm talking and pausing and all sorts of stuff. So this will not be entirely normal, like a normal treatment, but enough so that you get an idea of how you can use it to get the best possible results. Now, why is it that we work on the neck first? Well, a lot of the facial muscles are attached, uh, of the, a lot of the facial muscles are attached to the neck. And so when you work on there, you'll find changes or notice changes to your face. Quite often people will see uh, their eyebrows lifting after doing treatments on their neck with uh, things like the galvanic face bar that you see behind me, or even if people were using the boost. All right, that is just about enough for the neck for the purposes of this video. And one more. It feels really good. You don't really want it to stop. And that's enough. Okay, so if you can see that, a bit dirty since the first treatment. Uh, it's nice and white, this one. I'm using the dry formula. And now it's a little uh, kind of creamier color or even a bit browner. Uh, after that, it's kind of shearing off a lot of the dead skin. I've already shaved as well. So you would think that that should be fairly clean. Uh, but the Lumis Bar, of course, is removing everything from the pores, really pumping things out. So it gives you a deeper clean than you would get from anything, uh, particularly if you're just using your hand. So to clean it, you're just going to pop the top off. There's a new one that's very tight, so difficult to get off. And hold on a second. And, ah, okay, I'm just going to wash that. On there. So you just rinse it under the tap. I don't have a tap in this room, so I'm just doing it with a bowl of water and then a damp towel to wipe it off. Again, if you're in the shower, you're just washing it off. So it's very straightforward. And that is the neck done. So now we are ready to go for the face. So again, I like to do just kind of one half at a time. Got more of the dry treatment cleanser. And then I'm just smoothing it along. And I'll put a little bit over there too. So I'm just going to press it to start again. And here you're following the contours of your face and the facial muscles. So up along the jawline to the hairline there, do about two to three goes in one spot and then around the lips. So there's muscles that go around the lips here. You can go over the lips. I have people ask me that quite often. Uh, it depends of course on what treatment head you're using and how sensitive your lips are. But I do know some people using it like this to get rid of uh, lipstick and, and makeup. So then I go up the nasal fold to the nose. My nose is super oily, uh, tends to get blackheads, so I like to, to go quite thorough around the nose. And then from there, you're gonna go under the cheekbone to the hairline. And you're not gonna get too close to the eyes because it's, it's more delicate skin around here and that's what the Lumi Spa accent is for. And then you're gonna lift this up I will link the Lumi Spa Accent video that I did um, after this live video finishes. I can link it in here. So you'll see it somewhere on the screen. And then it's just straight up and down to the hairline. As you can see there. Now I'm not raising my eyebrows or stressing my face out while I'm doing this. Keeping very neutral, relaxed position and kind of training the facial muscles to be like that. So I'm just going to pause it there, apply. Moisture mist on this side and just a little more cleanser. Again, if you're just doing this in the bathroom, the shower, you won't need to use as much cleanser as, as this. I just want to make sure it's well hydrated. And also, 
orange light here, it means I need to charge this Lumis bar soon. So uh, I will s pop it in the charger tonight and just leave it overnight. And uh, then it'll be good to go for a number of weeks after that. All right, let's keep it going from here. Again, following the contours of your face and the facial muscles along the jawline to the hair, around the lips. And then up over the nose, down the nasal fold. You see that I'm not pressing too hard. I'm not moving it too fast. I'm not twirling it in circles like a lot of people do. And there, lifting there. And this means that the device does not turn off because of the sensors. It does, a lot of people, when it doesn't seem to be working, they'll say, Kurt, my Lumis bar is not behaving. It, it's not working. It keeps stopping. Well, that's because of the way that you're using it. So I'm just going to turn it on again to show you. All right, if I'm going like this, it stopped. It stopped. So don't do it like that. Just nice and smooth movements up and down, up and down. Or you can also do like this, kind of spanning out. Very relaxing right here. I love that at the end of the day. Now, when should you be using your Lumispar? Totally depends on your skin and your routine and what you prefer. But uh, personally, I like to do it when I, after I shave in the morning and do it in the shower. Uh, I know other people, they love doing it in the evening as a, just a kind of de-stressor, make sure their skin is perfectly clean. Then they put on a serum and of course a, a moisturizer, a night moisturizer afterwards, and that seems to work best for them. So of course you can do it twice a day. Just see how your skin goes. Not everyone needs to do that. I'm more of a, a once a day person. So it all depends on you. It's not a one size fits all. Uh, the beauty of the Lumi Spa is that there are five different treatment cleansers to choose from and there are three different treatment heads. There's a firm one, there's the normal one that you can see here, which by the way, it's a, it's a bit dirtier than the normal white, if you could see that. And then there's a gentle one um, that is also fantastic. So it all depends on your skin type. You can really tailor this for your own unique experience and to get the best possible results. So now that we have Finish that. Again, a damp cloth just to remove the cleanser. And then there is a final step that is super important, and that is, of course, toner. Why do you need a toner? Well, you need it most of the time, but especially with the Lumi Spa, because the Lumi Spa treatment cleansers are not like ordinary cleansers that you find out there in the market. And uh, this is a large part of the reason why you can't use other brands cleansers with the Lumi Spa. I know some people do and they say, ah, I'm, I'm fine. But ultimately you have, you're kind of playing Russian roulette because this is a totally new device. There is nothing like it out there in the marketplace. Uh, it has a very specific movement, a very specific treatment head, and it needs a very specific treatment cleanser to provide enough of a buffer and also to have that cleansing effect on the skin. But it's also got to be the right viscosity. So if it's too thin, is, there's potential for the Lumi Spa to damage the skin. If it's too thick, it's, there's potential to not get the results that you're looking for. And you cannot guarantee that with any other cleanser unless it's specifically been designed for the Lumi Spa. Hope that makes sense. But uh, one of the features of the Lumi Spa cleansers is that they are not foaming. So normally when you're washing your face after using a cleanser, it will foam up and, and kind of suds off and you'll get rid of most of it with water. Well, that's not the case with the Lumi Spa treatment cleansers. That's why toner is super important. This is my favorite one at the moment is Here You Glow Toner. Uh, if you want to have kind of a, a radiant glow, this is absolutely brilliant. It uses very mild AHAs and uh, that really stimulates the cellular turnover, really brightens the skin. So I use a tiny amount on just a little makeup wipe there. Most of you watching this uh, are women, you've all had experience using these. As a guy, it was kind of a new experience for me, but uh, this will really finish off 
the Lumispa treatment when you are using the toner to make sure the skin is perfectly clean after that treatment. Of course, I can go on to the neck, but uh, that's going to make a long video. All right, guys, that is basically it. Your skin is pristine right now. It is ready for a serum. It is ready for a treatment. So if you were going to use something like uh, Agelog Boost, which hasn't launched everywhere in the world, but uh, we're lucky in Australia, we have access to it here. Now's the perfect time to use the Boost because it's just a two minute treatment. So in total, you would have about four minutes uh, per day and you've got a complete beauty routine with the highest possible caliber of treatments. Things that you would normally have to go to a high-end beauty salon to receive, but you're doing it in the privacy of your own home, which is amazing. Or there's a step above that, which is of course the galvanic face bar that you see behind me there. So before both of those treatments, the boost, which is microcurrent and the galvanic, which is also a microcurrent treatment, but it, it works on a slightly different level. I'll, I'll link a video here that explains it in more depth. Both of those require cleansing beforehand. You have to have perfectly skin, clean skin and that's what the Lumi Spa does. So use the Lumi Spa step one for everything. <laughs> that's why most people will say, well, what should I get started with with the new skin range? There's, there's so much to choose from. Lumi Spa is, is generally the best starting point because cleansing properly is the number one uh, part of a great skincare routine and so few people are doing it properly or doing it to, uh, they're doing it, not doing it as thoroughly as the Lumi Spa could do it for them. So that's the reason why we start most people off with the Lumi Spa and then kind of build up from there, depending on what the results they're looking for. If you need help with any of that, then of course, reach out to me. I leave my contact details at the end of this video. I will have uh, some links for the products that you see in this video if you want to get access to them, all that sort of stuff. Also, be sure to like, subscribe. Uh, I have produced a lot of videos on the new skin range and I am creating new content all the time. So I will see you in those future videos. All right, guys, my name is Kurt Provost. I am your guide to all things new skin. I hope you have enjoyed this and I hope it has answered some questions for you in regards to how to use your Lumispa.